Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. I know I'm certainly doing well after looking at that boohoo this morning. Um, what a jump in the stock. Uh, we're up quite a bit. When I opened it up, we we're up about 20%. It's dropped down to about 15% uh, we're up right now as of recording this video. So we'll see where the day brings. I mean, by the time it goes up, it might be lower. I mean, hopefully it'll be higher, but we'll see what happens. But wow, what a start from boohoo. And there was the kind of report into the investigations into the Leicester supply chain issues that came out. Um, so we'll be talking about that and I'll talk about what I'm thinking about Boohoo right now because obviously I said that previously if you got to 350 I might just sell a little bit of the position so I'll talk about that as well later in the video as well uh, but overall um, I know a lot of you guys bought into the Boohoo dips I know I've got a lot of subscribers that uh, are invested into Boohoo and um, so congratulations to you guys this morning and um, it was a fantastic open let me know in the comment section how much you are up on your position I know a lot of you were brave back in due time when uh, the stock was you know crashing quite a bit and um, obviously lost like nearly half its share price and back then you know I called them the money uh, this stock an easy money stock and I, I you know I, I don't often do that but I said at the time back in June that if you put money in this company I can only see you making money on it and it's an easy money stock and not many stocks are able to get that easy money uh, name uh, but Boohoo was one of them and like I say I think if you did invest back in June time um, when when we had the big correction I'm sure you're up quite a bit so comment down below let me know how much you are up on your Boohoo positions that are invested into it personally I'm currently up about 50 to 55 percent now depending where the stock actually is at uh, on the gain side of it but still some very nice gains for only being invested into the stock for like three months so guys smash the like button for them Boohoo gains and we'll take a look at the article that broke this morning about the statement into Boohoo so this morning, I actually wasn't going to record a Boohoo video until I saw it massively jump up. Um, obviously, we've got earnings as well next week. Uh, but yeah, I wasn't planning on making this. I was planning on talking about all the stocks I bought this week. But I, when it's one of your big, when it's your biggest UK position and it's up 20%, you can't help talk about it, can you? you got to appreciate the good days. We appreciate in the good days right now, today. Okay, so, Bo so Boohoo Review finds many failings in Leicester supply chain. Now, I actually thought when I saw this headline on Yahoo Finance, I was like, ah, oh, crap this is going to be bad <laughs> and like i said it went on the stock and then the stock was up and i was like okay it's good it's good news um yeah the article goes on about um what the failings in the lesser supply chain recommendations to improve it and you might remember boohoo bought this independent body in to find you know what kind of went wrong um even though it wasn't taken that well by investors um obviously now it has been taken that well by investors um it did find out that there was air park conditions low low pay conditions in the supply chain but and the statement here that levitt is satisfi satisfied that boohoo did not deliberately allow poor conditions and low pay to exist within its supply chain it did not intentionally profit from them and its business model is not founded on exploiting workers in leicester Boohoo said in a statement and that was the big thing that we needed we needed confirmation that Boohoo was not involved in the supply chain issues we, I said previously on it I didn't think there were it, it's a different scenario if there were found to have some sort of influence in it but remember the supply chain is separate from where the company is uh, and like I say I think Boohoo will get a slap on the wrist you can see it in the stock price as well uh, but it's not involved and the share price should not have halved because of it and um, we're starting to see it recover quite a bit now and um, overall like I say um, that's the big thing we needed that is that it was not involved there was no knowledge from Boohoo uh, that they that was happening in their supply chain and now that that's kind of been separated we can kind of relax a bit it'd be interesting to see what the approach is from a lot of the suppliers that stopped selling Boohoo products like I said previously it seemed very rash how quickly you know like next um, I think ASOS as well cut like the partnerships with Boohoo seemed a little bit suspicious like they were keen to find a reason to cut them partnerships and um, so we'll see what happens and if they start actually with the partnerships again and um, so yeah all good news that investigations that's the one thing that was making me a little bit nervous if it did came out with some links that would have been you know obviously horrible um, and we've passed that one next week we've got earnings which will be a very interesting thing to see how they go on I think they should be strong when you look at other kind of like um, e-commerce sites you know they've all been kind of strong so we should see something good there so we've got earnings next week on the sales side of it the only thing I'm worried about on the earnings side of it is that if potentially these partnerships that are being cut because of this how much they're going to affect the sales but like I say I don't think it'll affect it that much and I think 
Hopefully we see a nice gain on them share prices after Boohoo earnings. Don't know if any of you guys actually saw Cineworld earnings the other day, but wow, they were horrible. Um, I might make a video on them. Let me know if you want to see some Cineworld earnings on the channel. Might take a look at them. Uh, with the regards to actually selling the stock, I did plan to sell at 350 but to be honest with you, now that we're a week off earnings and I've kind of got a little bit of big expectations on earnings, I think they should be good. You know, the work at home, e-commerce, um, I think they should be good. So I've got big expectations and I'm not sure how much I want to sell some shares before the earnings. So I might not sell at 350, maybe 400 would be the next one I sell 10%. But overall, happy with them gains on Boohoo this morning. Let me know in the comment section how much you are up on your Boohoo positions. I'm sure some of you guys with, you know, Brave buying them lows where the share price halved. Sure, some of you guys have some massive gains. And you know, when you buy a company that has an amazing balance sheet, amazing growth, and it's been sold off so so much, easy money, guys. So well done for you guys that are up on your positions right now. And like I say, hope you enjoy the video. Smash that like button, and I'll see you on the next video.